Antibiotics were first discovered in 1928 by Alexander Fleming, but it's taken less than 100 years for some of them to develop resistance to antibiotics. The development of these new strains provides strong evidence for evolution. We're going to look at how this has happened and more importantly, how we can prevent it. Bacteria can evolve rapidly because they reproduce at such a fast rate. Some bacteria are pathogens, which means they cause disease, while others are harmless to humans. Mutations of pathogens can produce new strains of disease. Some of these strains are resistant to antibiotics, and so when antibiotics are used, they don't get killed. Instead, they survive and reproduce. The population of the resistant strain will increase, and the new strain will then spread. This is because people have no immunity to it. It's a brand new disease. There is no effective treatment for these resistant pathogens. MRSA is an example of a resistant bacteria that you need to know about. The MR means methicillin resistant, which is the type of antibiotic it's resistant to. And this superbug can commonly be found in hospitals. It's really important that we prevent the rise of antibiotic resistant bacteria, or we may live in a world where we cannot treat infections. But you might ask, why not just make new antibiotics? Well, new antibiotics are very expensive and very slow to develop. It can take many years and they're unlikely to keep up with the emergence of new strains. So we need to prevent them. Here are three ways how. First of all, doctors should not prescribe antibiotics if they're not necessary i.e. if your illness is caused by a virus, in which case antibiotics don't work, or if it's not a serious illness. Secondly, if you are prescribed antibiotics, it's your duty as a patient to make sure that you complete the full course so that all the bacteria are killed and none survive to mutate and form resistant strains. This is really important as some people think they feel better and stop taking them, but actually they've still got pathogens in their bodies. And thirdly, antibiotics should not be used in agriculture. Some farmers use antibiotics to prevent their animals getting sick in the first place, but this greatly increases the risk of resistant strains developing. It's question time. Pause the video, give the questions a go and press play when you're ready to go over them. Number one, you go to the doctor because you've got an infection. Why might the doctor not give you a course of antibiotics? Well, your infection might be non-serious or it may be caused by a virus, so the antibiotics wouldn't work anyway. Two, name one example of an antibiotic resistant bacteria. MRSA is the one you need to know. Three, why do we need to work to prevent new strains of resistant bacteria arising instead of just making new antibiotics? Well, the development of new antibiotics is very expensive and very slow so it's unlikely to keep up with the emergence of new strains. And four, Shane has a bacterial infection and is given antibiotics. He only uses half of the pills prescribed as he feels better, but he soon gets ill again and is told the same antibiotic won't work to treat the infection. Describe why this has happened. When he stopped taking the antibiotics, not all of the bacteria were killed. Some of those that survived mutated to become resistant to the antibiotic. So using the same antibiotic will no longer work. How did you do? Next up is how scientists classify living things into groups. Click here to watch and please subscribe if you're finding these useful. Thanks and bye.